just got a new house in Countryside, one that was uh, for sale as a foreclosure for quite a long time, never sold, so we picked it up from the credit union. Problem being, we don't know and nobody knows where the keys to it are. Uh, so I'm meeting Tara out there right now. It's Saturday of Easter weekend and we're gonna try and break into the thing. I brought some tools, maybe going through a window, maybe break the front door down. Uh, yeah, we'll see, who knows. Um, but we gotta get inside and see what we're dealing with, so. Looks like Tara beat me here. Here's the unit on our left. I wonder if you got in already. How long did it take you to break in? Uh, about two seconds. <laughs> this one actually was left really clean. Uh, this is how we found it, which is really nice because we didn't have to get any kind of dumpster in. Uh, they took care of it before they left. So, yeah, nice size living room, decent floors. I don't really know the story behind this one. I know the credit union had owned it um, and couldn't sell it because it needed too much work. Looks like we got a bedroom here. Small little bedroom with the world's smallest bed left behind. Whoa. So, bathtub with the washer and dryer in here. I have no idea what happened in here. But I'm guessing they could have used a water softener. This is the world's hardest water. Oh my God. Okay, master bedroom. Decent sized master bedroom. Um, yeah, this is, was not a bad house. I'm standing in front of number 112 in Countryside, our next project. I know you've seen the inside a little bit, but just wanted to tell you a bit of the background on this one. This was a foreclosure and this wasn't something that was sellable because I don't know if you can tell from here, but there's some issues with the roof and a lot of issues that you can't see with this house. So it isn't what would be considered livable. Um, so what we're gonna do with this is tear it down again and um, bring in a new one. We got Jeremy coming over from Mounds Construction tomorrow. He's gonna look after the demo. And then we're gonna look at it once the house is gone, see what we can do a lot to make it a little better, you know, so it's not sloping down towards the house maybe raise the lot up a bit. There's gonna be some retaining walls involved. So a little bit more work on the land prep side for this one, but um, yeah, it's, it's an exciting job because this is a nice spot again in countryside, right by the golf course, close to town. Um, yeah. So they tore into this thing and I decided that maybe I should just renovate it um, and sell it as is. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, they're well underway. They're about 20 minutes into this demo. Uh, it's probably going to take them all day. So I'm going to check back at the end of the day and see the progress. All right, it's three o'clock. They're taking a quick break to fuel up the hoe, but they have basically got this job all but done, just down to the frame now, so they'll probably have her finished by the end of the day. Okay, here we are back at 112 in Countryside. As you can see, they've got the house fully torn out of there, and they're ready to build the pad, build this lot up a little bit, and get ready for the new house that we've got ordered. Yeah, that finishes off the demolition portion of this project, so I'm gonna end this here. If you like this video, get up on that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, and check back, because we are gonna build this pad up. I've got a house on order, so we're gonna be doing a, a walk through and a tour of that when it's done. Um, so follow along as we go forward, because there's lots more coming.